Right now, I am about to go get acupuncture for the first time ever. I've never had it done before. I've always, always wanted to. Andre has had acupuncture. You've had acupuncture uh, once, right? I got acupunted. <laughs> I don't think there's any verbs to describe it. How, how did you like it? You liked it. You thought it was cool. It was interesting. I don't know if it did anything, but really, it, it definitely felt Okay, well, like I've been wanting to get acupuncture for so, so, so long, and I just never got around to it. But I'm gonna go right now. Miku, do you want to come and get cat acupuncture? No, that's abuse. Miku, do you want to get cat acupuncture? Maybe you have stress. Do you want to come? She's like, yes. Bring me with you. I am finished. My first ever acupuncture. At last. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't know. Probably, okay, it's gonna be the first and last for now. Um, it was not really what I thought it was gonna be. I thought acupuncture was a more relaxing experience. I mean, not relaxing. I know they're putting needles in you, but I didn't think that they would hurt as much as they did. Like When, it, when I went, it was pretty relaxing. Mine hurt. Like he'd put the needle in and then like move the needle around and like kind of like twist it and like turn it and it hurt. And then I guess like <laughs> during it, he like left me in the room to just, I don't know, relax for a little bit. And he like went out and Andre was sitting outside in the waiting room. And what did you like overhear them say? He's like, I'm gonna do this on her. The guy's like, you can't do that on female patients. <laughs> and he said it like three times. What, are you serious? Yeah. So what what did you hear what it was? No, what the hell did you hear that? Well, that happened. Well at least the other guy was there to be like, you can't do that on yeah. female patients. I was about to be like, what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah, it was a very interesting experience. Um I'm glad I tried it though, because I wanted to try acupuncture forever. So I am glad that I tried it. Um I don't know. If I'm gonna be trying it again, well, I'm not gonna be trying it again anytime soon, I don't think, but who knows, maybe in the future. Like, I'm not gonna like cross it off as like, I'm not ever gonna do acupuncture again, but for now, probably gonna, probably gonna avoid that. <laughs> so we're back now from that really, really exciting um, acupuncture appointment. Honestly, my chest really hurts. He put like a needle right I think it was like right there. He put like a needle there and then one like a little bit to the side, but the one like right in the middle of my chest, ow! It hurt so bad. And like still right now, like it feels all like bruised. I don't know, maybe that's how it's supposed to feel. And like, I just don't know because I've never gotten it before. But I kind of wanted to talk to you guys. Um, this isn't going to be the most exciting, interesting, happiest, most fun vlog ever. It's more just like me giving you guys a little bit of an update. Um, Cause I want, I, I wanted to tell you why I got acupuncture in the first place. Like obviously I wanted to try it, but the reason I decided to go today is because maybe like a month ago now, no, probably a few weeks ago, I went and got like an ultrasound. This might like be weird, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you guys because I wanna be open about everything going on in my life. Um, but I went and got an ultrasound because I have like a lump right there. Like you can feel it, it's like a ball, probably about that big. Um, and it's just like right there on my boob, hanging out. So I got an ultrasound of it about three weeks ago just to make sure that there was nothing wrong. My mom and me both thought that it was just like a cyst, like kind of like a little pimple um, under your skin, like a little fluid filled ball. Cause I know you can get them and then they just like go away. So that's what I thought it was. And like, I was like 100% certain that that's what it is. Like I wasn't worried at all. I was like, it's just like a cyst thing. So I got my ultrasound and the results, I guess the doctor looked over them um, a few days ago and I got a call from the nurse a couple days ago now and uh, she told me that it's actually not a cyst. It is something called a fibroadenoma. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Basically what it is is a tumor. And I know that tumor is a very scary word. Like when she told me, I was like laying in bed, like on the phone, like what? <laughs> when you think about a tumor, you think about like a massive like brain tumor that's gonna kill you. Like it's not, what is Miku doing? She's just destroying everything right now. It's a scary word. It's a very scary word. But she explained to me that it is a benign tumor, which means it's not a cancerous tumor, which is a very good thing. Um, I guess by the pictures they could tell like, I guess the edges of the ball, like the edges of tumors when they're cancerous or malignant, they look different 
than benign tumors. So judging by the pictures, she said it looks like 99% like just a benign tumor, which is a very good thing. I do want to go get like a biopsy of it to make sure. I'm not worried about it or anything, but I do want to double check just in case, like just, why not? So back to like acupuncture, um, I was Googling like alternative treatment methods because for something like this, it is a tumor, um, but it's like mine is small enough, I think. I mean, I don't know anything about it. I just found out I had it and we actually, we named it Steve. <laughs> Where is it? Can I feel it right now? It's so weird. It's this little like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like it feels like a little grape under my skin. Like a little like rubbery ball. It is, I think, still small enough that they don't need to surgically remove it. I mean, maybe that's what's gonna happen. I don't know. But anyways, I was looking at like alternative um, treatment methods and like different herbs or treatments that Apparently, some people have found that they help shrink the tumor. Acupuncture was one of them. Don't know if I'm gonna keep going with that treatment because Miku is just destroying the kitchen right now. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna go with the acupuncture treatment um, method because my experience wasn't the best today. It was not the best. But I bought some herbs. I'm gonna show you guys the herbs that I bought just because, I don't know, why not? Miku just wants to play fetch. Look, she's obsessed. Miku, get it. She loves those springs. Get the spring. <laughs> she plays fetch. She literally thinks she's a dog. She, oh my goodness, she also has been drinking out of this tap now. Like she doesn't like drinking out of her little bowl anymore. She's just all about the tap. Like she only drinks out of the tap. I'm gonna include a clip here of her drinking out of the tap because it's the cutest thing ever and that's gonna like lighten up the mood in this video. <laughs> these are supposed to help um so i mean if you have a fibroadenoma and you want to shrink it you can join me i don't know if this works i literally just googled stuff but i got some maca root because apparently it is um good for balancing your hormone levels and they don't know the cause of these tumor things um I've been Googling it. Some doctors say that it could be linked to like hormone levels in your body, but apparently no one's really sure exactly what causes them. Like they're just totally random. I also got some echinacea because apparently that can help too. And I got some milk thistle and this helps with your liver functioning, um, which I mean was apparently supposed to help with this too. So. We will see. I'm gonna be taking those, but because it is a benign tumor, I mean, I, I don't need to like panic or do anything uh, right away because it can't, it can't like do any severe kind of damage, I don't think. Like it just kind of hangs out and like chills there and I'm just gonna have like a lump right there and we're gonna have like a little bulb. Okay, and <laughs> I was talking to you guys on Twitter about it, but I don't, I don't like the name tumor because it sounds like really scary. So I think that we should just call this my boob orby. So my borby, my borbies. Is it orbies or orby? I feel like it's still orbies, my borbies. We're gonna call this Steve the Borbies. Steve the Borby. I don't know, you choose. You guys can name it something different if you want, but that's what I'm gonna call him because I don't wanna call him a tumor. So we're just gonna refer to the tumor as Steve the Borby or just Steve uh, because it sounds a lot nicer. <laughs> if any of you guys have had any family members or you have had something similar, definitely 110 million percent. Let me know your experiences in the comments. But yeah, I wanna tell you guys, don't worry about me. I did not make this video to like scare you guys or to get you guys to feel bad for me. That is the last thing I want. I am 100% totally fine. I am fine. I'm healthy. We just have a new friend now. We just have Steve. Like Steve's just gonna be hanging around for a little bit. Um, so I don't want you guys to worry about anything. I'm totally, totally fine. I'm very, very glad that it's not anything worse. So yeah, don't worry, we'll figure it out. Hopefully my little maca root and my echinacea and 
<laughs> my milk thistle will help it go away. I, I don't think it's gonna make it go away, but who knows? I'm gonna be positive. I already eat like a really healthy diet too, so I feel like that should help. Like when I was researching, they said you should like cut out meat and dairy products and stuff like that, but since I'm a vegan, I don't eat meat or dairy products anyways, so I feel like we got a chance. We got a chance that we can just nicely remove Steve without having to cut him out because I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna cut Steve out. Like, I don't feel like we need to take that approach, you know? Like, Steve's nice, he's not out here to kill us, so I feel like we could just ask him to leave and then like maybe over time he will leave. Miku's biting the camera string. Why Why do you do this to me, cat? Why, cat? Why? <laughs> I hope you guys, um, well, I mean, I, I don't know if you like enjoyed this video, but thank you for watching and listening and, and supporting the kitten and me and, <laughs> look at her, she's not even moving. She's just like, honestly, I hate you. It's okay, Miku. I know you love me. I know you secretly love me. Yes. Oh, you secretly love me. <laughs> She's probably so annoyed at me. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Oh my gosh. <laughs>